Samsung has just released a new update for the Galaxy S24 lineup, starting with users in South Korea. Good news. The update will reach international markets soon. But what's the difference with this update? We now have a first set of pictures with the courtesy of Ice Universe. Before the update, Galaxy S24 Plus also had the washed out colors issue. But now with the update, there are three new settings to choose from. Let's look at the comparison of the three levels. One, the first option is how the Galaxy S24 looked before, dull, and washed out. Two, the second option is similar to how the Galaxy S23 Ultra looked. Three, the third option has more vibrant colors with saturated yellows and an overall lively look. One thing to note is that there is a slight difference between the photos, but it's not huge. It could be because the photos were uploaded to Twitter, which might have affected the way they appear. When some people started saying there was no difference in the photos, a Twitter user pointed out, for those who can't see the difference, it's mainly noticeable in the yellows. Take a look here, even the hexadecimal codes for yellows differ in the same spot. If you still don't see any difference, it's pretty clear you're overlooking something. So after the update, you can choose between these settings to make your display look less dull and more vibrant. International market is waiting for the update. According to Samsung's information shared with 9to5 Google, the rollout will begin on February 22. Since updates like this happen in stages, it's possible that Galaxy S24 owners in certain places might have to wait until the end of February or even early March for the update to reach them. Now here's the list of all the camera updates. 1. Image quality has been improved by adjusting the brightness when shooting backlit in high pixel mode. 2. The clarity of text has been improved when using high magnification zoom. Galaxy S24 Ultra only. 3. Clarity and picture quality have been improved when recording rear video. Galaxy S24 Ultra only. 4. In the photo mode preview, the brightness of dark areas in indoor environments has been increased and the sharpness of people has been smoothly improved. Galaxy S24 Ultra only. 5. Expression has been improved by additionally applying color data in food mode. 6. Colors have been improved by adjusting saturation and white balance in night mode. 7. Image quality has been improved when zooming in on the gallery after shooting a new format DNG in the Expert Raw app. 8. The expression of fast-moving subjects in backlight conditions in rear photo mode has been improved. Galaxy S24 Ultra only. 9. The exposure and color expression of subjects, people, flowers, etc. have been improved in photo mode. Galaxy S24 Ultra only. The S24 Ultra phone has a problem with blurry images, as shown in the photo. The update's changelog, translated from Korean, mentions improvements in capturing fast-moving subjects in backlight conditions for rear photos. This update aims to fix the issue, although it's strange that it focuses on specific lighting conditions when the problem occurs regardless of lighting. Still, any improvement is good news. These updates are exactly what we needed for the S24 Ultra cameras. Just hang tight until the 22nd for the update, and all your issues will be fixed. Now, if we talk about the new Galaxy S24 Series South Korea update. According to Tarim Vats, the new update for the Galaxy S24 Series is ready to download in South Korea. It's called Firmware Version S92 XNKSU1 AXB5 and has the February 2024 security patch. The download size is 554.10 megabytes. This update fixes 72 security issues from the old version. It also adds a new feature called Vividness Slider in the display settings. This lets users make the screen more colorful if they want. The update also tries to make the camera take better pictures in different lighting and when zooming in. Since the February 2024 update is now for the Galaxy S24 phones in South Korea, we anticipate it will soon reach Galaxy S24 phones in other countries too. To see if the update is ready for your S24 phone, go to Settings, then Software Update, and tap Download and Install. Samsung announced that the Galaxy S23 series, including the S23 FE, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and Galaxy Tab S9 will receive the artificial intelligence features of the Galaxy S24. This week, a company has made significant progress towards implementing this plan. A new update for the Samsung on-device resource app is now available on the Galaxy Store. Prior to the launch of the Galaxy S24 series, this app handled on-device processing tasks like converting speech to text in Bixby and enabling voice typing recognition in the Samsung keyboard. The on-device resource app on the Galaxy S24 series now supports new artificial intelligence features like interpreter, lev translate in calls, and converting voice recordings to text transcripts. 
With the updated version now accessible on older devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy S23, it seems that the release of the One UI 6.1 update for these flagship phones might be approaching. At the moment, it's uncertain whether Samsung will include the Galaxy S24's artificial intelligence features in the One UI 6.1 update or roll them out separately for compatible devices. However, we'll keep you informed as we gather more information. Some sources suggest it might arrive as early as March 2024. Testing for One UI 6.1 has already begun, and it's anticipated that the S23 series will be the first to receive the update. Other models will follow in the second half of 2024. The current beta build number is S918 MKSU2ZWX2, indicating that the update is currently in the bug fixing phase. This beta is not available for public testing and is currently internal. Here's a list of the phones that will receive the camera shift feature. Galaxy S23 series, Galaxy S22 series, Galaxy S21 series and S21 fan edition. Galaxy Tab S9 series, Galaxy Tabs 8 series, Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Fold 5, Galaxy Z Flip 4 and Fold 4, Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Fold 3, Galaxy F55, Galaxy F54 and Galaxy F53, Galaxy F34 and Galaxy F33, Galaxy M54 and Galaxy M53, Galaxy M34 and Galaxy M33. Now let's move on to the Tom's Guide battery test results. This test involves browsing the internet on a 5G network with the screen brightness set to 150 nits. In initial tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra had an impressive battery life, lasting 16 hours and 45 minutes. Its screen is in adaptive mode, which adjusts the refresh rate between 1 and 120 Hz depending on what you're doing. This time is over 4 hours longer than its predecessor, the Galaxy S23 Ultra which lasted for 12 hours and 22 minutes in our tests. In the Tom's Guide battery test, the iPhone 15 Pro Max lasted for 14 hours and 2 minutes. While that's a good performance, it's still almost 3 hours less than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. On the other hand, the Pixel 8 Pro only lasted for 10 hours and 3 minutes, falling behind the S24 Ultra by more than 6 hours. The new processor might be the reason for the huge difference in battery life between the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Qualcomm, the maker of these chips, claims that their Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is 25% more efficient than the previous Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And now looking at the test results, the improvements are incredibly impressive. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has one of the best battery lives ever seen in a phone. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.